morning covenant kids happy sunday it is so nice to be seeing you through the screens i hope you guys are all having a lovely morning uh today in our bible story we are going to be talking about paul and there is a word that is super important for today's story and lesson and that word is change so before i show you guys the definition does anybody know what it means a little test Change means to make or become different. And I wanted to know if you guys had any good examples of change that you wanted to share. So you can tell your parents or you can tell your dog or whoever's around you. One of my favorite examples of change is the seasons. So when spring comes and all the snow melts from winter and it starts getting warmer, that is one of my favorite uh, ways that things change in this world. And another way that we can change is if we change our appearance. So I can change if I add glasses or if I add a headband. Change can be really easy and sometimes change can be really hard too. And today in our Bible story, we are going to learn about somebody who changed, but not just their appearance and not just physical things like the season, they changed in their hearts. And it is pretty easy to change physical things, but it's not so easy to change our hearts sometimes and we need God's help to change what's in our hearts. And that is what happened in today's Bible story. But before we get into that, we are gonna sing a song. We're gonna sing a whole lot of change from the BBS track. So stand up and sing along. I wanna hear you guys all the way across the city. stays the same so hold on tight and follow real close god is good and he's in control clap your hands like this now do the twist stomp your feet the same in the Bible called Acts chapter 9 and we're gonna call the story good news bad news and I need your guys's help at home to help me tell it whenever you guys hear me say bad news I want you to make a nasty face and say boo and whenever you guys hear me say good news I want you to smile and cheer so let's give it a little practice round here so bad news boo and good news yay awesome let's get started 
first, the bad news. The story begins with a letter, a letter that was bad news for all the Christians in Israel. A man named Paul asked the most powerful man in the Jewish church, the very highest of the high priests, the top guy, to write a letter for him. The letter went something like this. It was bad news, all right. It meant that Paul could ask people if they believed in Jesus. If they said yes, he would put them in chains and bring them back to Jerusalem, where they'd probably be killed. If anyone tried to stop him, Paul would flash that letter in their face. No one, absolutely no one, would disobey the very highest of the high priests, which meant that Paul could do whatever he wanted. So Paul and his helpers, along with the letter, headed for Damascus. They had chains with them, clinking and clanking along the ground as they walked. These guys were bad news. Now for the good news. Yay, really good news. I mean, really, really good news. Suddenly, there on the road to Damascus, a bright light beamed from heaven and flashed all around Paul. He fell right down on the ground. A voice spoke, Paul, why are you out to get me? Paul asked, who are you, Lord? The voice answered, I am Jesus, the one you are chasing and hurting. Now get up and go into the city. When you're there, I will tell you what you must do. Paul's helpers heard the sound, but they didn't see anyone. They stood there with their mouths open, not believing what had just happened. As for Paul, while well, he realized he was blind, he couldn't see a thing. Paul's friends led him into town. That's where Paul stayed for three days, not eating or drinking anything. His helpers couldn't figure out what was happening. They weren't sure if it was good news or bad news. They stayed with their buddy Paul to figure out what would happen next. Meanwhile, God talked to Ananias, a believer. In a vision, God told him to go into town and talk to Paul. This seemed like bad news to Ananias. Whoa, Lord, I'm a believer. Paul will kill me, he said. Lord told Ananias to go anyway. Then God shared a bit of his amazing plan for Paul. God told Ananias that he had chosen Paul to tell everyone about Jesus. Wow, now that was good news. Ananias entered the house where Paul was staying. He put his hands on Paul and said, Brother Paul, Jesus, the same Jesus who appeared to you on the road, sent me so that you can be healed and filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, Paul could see he got up and was baptized. Paul was changed from an unbeliever to a believer, and his heart was filled with love. That kind of change is always good news. Paul started doing the work God wanted him to do and began telling everyone about Jesus right there in Damascus. It was really amazing, too amazing for some people. When they saw that Paul had become a believer, they were angry. Some people even wanted to kill him. It would have been bad news for Paul, but some believers put him in a basket and lowered him over the wall so that he got away. Paul kept doing the work that God wanted him to do. He went to Jerusalem and began to tell everyone about Jesus until it happened again. Some people recognized him and wanted to kill him for becoming a believer. It would have been bad news, but for Paul, God made sure he escaped. Some other believers put him on a ship that was sailing far away. The good news is that Paul kept or God kept Paul safe so he could do the work planned for him to do. In the meantime, the church of Jesus grew strong with the help of the Holy Spirit. More and more people believed in Jesus, and that's really good news. The flash of light God sent to Paul on the road to Damascus changed Paul's eyes, but Jesus changed Paul's heart and turned Paul into a believer. Only Jesus can change hearts. Jesus is the most powerful change agent of all. Jesus' love changes our hearts too. So let's close our story time with a prayer song. We're gonna sing Shine, Jesus, Shine.
this place. 